back. Man, you're just in time again. I was just finishing up this first railing. We'll get this one out of the way, and then we're going to get started today on the railing for those front steps. So we already know from the measurements we took when we were up on the job that our front stair railing is on a 30 degree angle, about like this. So let me show you here real quick the easiest way I know to set up your workstation to weld stair rails. So I'm going to use my angle finder real quick and set it up on my 30 degrees and actually just set it on my table and I use these angle iron pieces to create the angle we need. I set that in there and just adjust this over till we hit our mark. And it's simply a matter of locking this into place. So there we have our 30 degree angle. Next, we'll just set up that same angle on our bandsaw. Start cutting all our parts and pieces. Alright, so now we can get out our last piece of 8 foot railing and cut it down to length. We're going to be cutting this one long to short. We're going to get both pieces out of this 1 8 footer. So we just want to make sure we've got it turned the right direction. Alright, now just like before, we want to take time now to put a good bevel on all four of these corners. Once again, by beveling this edge, you create much more surface area to weld to. Now we're just going to cut these balusters. We'll be ready to weld. Cut. Let's get it laid out. Everything looks good. Looks like we're about ready to fire up that welder. Alright, we got all four corners tacked off. Everything looks good. Let's weld this thing up. Alright then, let's clip it. And we'll just do the same thing on this side. So now it's just a matter of getting these mounting brackets prepped. So what we've done here is taken a piece of two and a half inch by quarter inch strap. We just cut it down into sections, bobbed off the corners, and drilled us out a hole. We did the same thing here. You see, we just had a piece of three inch by quarter inch strap. We cut it on the 45 and bored us out a hole. So now it's time to make these things look a little distressed. And to do that, all we're gonna need is my makeshift anvil, a couple hammers. We just set these up on here and uh, start going to work. Doesn't take much. We'll switch hammers from time to time. Leaves a different mark. Catch it a few times right on the edge. And that's what we're looking for. So we'll just take a minute and do that to all eight of these. Well, that'll about do it. Now we'll just get these welded on. And I'm guessing you know how we do that, right? Alright then, I'm going to finish welding these off. I appreciate you watching this video. If you want to learn more, come on back next week. We'll have these painted up. We'll go get them installed. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.